Hi, my name is Axel Fiedler and in the following 15 minutes I will talk about a new interactive tool to visualize open form results that I called iPost. So how is post processing of simulation results done in most cases today? After open form is done with the calculation you end up with multiple text files in which the results are stored. The resulting flow fields can easily be visualized in ParaView to create colorful figures. For further evaluation, these files can then be imported to the tool of your choice, like Python, MATLAB or GNUplot. In some cases, very easy access to the results is possible using an existing library like PyFoam. This is usually fine for a smaller set of results. However, one problem I faced from time to time is a situation where you have a larger number of operating points. You also want to perform a mesh study and maybe even try out different solver options of variance models. Now post-processing of this large set can lead to dozens of diagrams, which makes the exploration of the results tedious. Ideally, we would have a tool that reduces the amount of figures that are needed to display the result without losing any relevant information. This tool should be easy to use and provide a fast setup procedure. And it should be applicable to as many open form simulation problems as possible. But how can we achieve this? One solution I believe could lead to major improvements is to use interactive instead of static diagrams. This enables you to easily browse through several operating points and still maintain an overview of the whole result space. Obviously, in many cases, you still need a normal static graph, so it must be possible to export relevant parts of the interactive diagram. So let's have a look at an example that most should already know. In 2017, Josef Nagy published a Christmas challenge where the flow around the monkey head on the right should be investigated. If we want to include several inlet velocities to consider different Reynolds numbers, additionally perform a mesh independent study and also have a look at different turbulence models, we end up with a multi-dimensional solution space. On the following slides, I will give a short refresher how the setup of the monkey case may look. The monkey head, that is in my case roughly 20 times 20 times 20 centimeters, is placed in a flow domain that is 2 times 2 times 2.5 meters. We then want to consider two different meshes that stem from different setups for the base block mesh. In the first case, we use 20 times 20 times 30 elements, and in the second case, we use 30 times 30 times 45 elements for the base mesh. After a snappy hex mesh is applied, this leads to one mesh with roughly 2 million faces and a second mesh with roughly 4 million faces. We would like to calculate the drag coefficient of the monkey head for a range of Reynolds numbers. Therefore, we set the inlet velocity in such a way that Reynolds numbers from 100 to 8000 are achieved. For Reynolds numbers larger than 1000, we also include values for the turbulent properties at the inlet by calculating them from the inlet velocity. The four side planes are assumed to be slip faces, whereas the monkey head is considered with a no-slip boundary condition. At the outlet, static pressure is applied. The property of interest is the drag coefficient. For the calculation, the frontal area and the circumference of the monkey head need to be known. With these values given, OpenFoam can calculate the coefficient. So now, let us finally have a look at how iPost can be used to investigate the calculated results. After the results are copied to the data folder of iPost, we can open them in an internet browser of our choice, for example Google Chrome. In the upper graph, the desired Reynolds number study of the drag coefficient is shown. But different from a static diagram, we can now easily examine the calculation quality for each calculated point. If I simply click on an individual result in the upper diagram, all lower diagrams are updated to give me a better understanding of the solution. On the left, I can see the progress of the convergence. In this case, it is obvious that the property of interest is stable for the calculated point. 
In the middle, the residuals of pressure and velocity are displayed. And on the right, I can see that the influence of the mesh is fortunately very small. Each diagram is zoomable and the current image can be exported as a PNG file. For the turbulent cases, I only calculated a single mesh. But I can see that the drag coefficient converges nicely and the final residuals are very small. Finally, to have a more detailed look at, for example, the pressure residual, I can deselect all other lines in the legend and zoom to the area that interests me most. I wrote this little tool in the open source programming language Dash that is maintained by the company Plotly. To use it for your own applications, you need to have an up-to-date version of Python, including Pandas and NumPy. Then you just need to follow the installation instructions in the Dash documentation and finally copy the source code from my GitHub repository. I tried to provide an easy setup procedure. You basically need to make changes to Bash and Python scripts. There you insert the necessary information about the flow situation and choose the velocity range that should be calculated by OpenFoam. Then you need to choose which properties of interest and should be displayed in the main graph and the convergence graph. To run your app locally, just execute the main file with Python. This will start a local host that allows you to display your app. If you have your own web server, you can deploy the app using Flask. You can follow the instructions in the Dash documentation to do so. The company Plotly also offers enterprise solutions for large projects. But as I'm using Dash only in my spare time, I don't have any experience with that. The language Dash itself is open source. To wrap things up, let's have a final look at the advantages of iPost. First of all, the diagrams generated by iPost are web-based, so if you own a web server, you can share them by simply providing a link and your affiliates don't need anything besides a standard web browser. Secondly, I try to make the setup as easy as possible to allow an easy access. And lastly, I try to keep the tool versatile where it was possible to include results of different flow situations. For the next steps of development, I need your help. Right now, I'm the only user, which also means I may think the app is versatile, but that may be due to my limited range of use cases. Therefore, I would like to add more examples to the repository and in the course of doing so, also enhance the setup towards a more general form. For all this, I need your help to propose more examples Try the app yourself and let me know what needs changes. Finally, all that is left to do is to thank you for your attention and I'm looking forward to your questions and remarks in the comments.